Hi, welcome back. So this is the rooftop I posted earlier a short video regarding the blower bearing noise and now we are back to replace those. I already turned off the unit because the bearing were making a loud noise and partially seized. And <clears throat> I'm gonna just uh, show you how it was uh, creating a sound like a loud noise and then we'll go after that. I have opened up the panel. It's <clears throat> I'm gonna just rotate it freely. I don't know if you can listen. It's a grinding noise is coming out. Okay, so it's already started snowing and already jump out between R to G. Just wanted to listen the noise. Okay, so this blower assembly they is not like their other Lennox <coughs> rooftop unit like this one right there and uh, to get the blower assembly the whole thing out because we have one two three screw two screw and the same two screw at the other side and same three uh, bolt on the other side uh, which will be very difficult to open so I think we have to open that panel it's gonna be a big job because this panel is not designed to open like it's connected to the <coughs> real economizer panel here the unit doesn't have economizer but it's gonna be a big job looking at the weather here it started snowing okay let's start opening that panel okay so the back panel is out and I found this motor plate where all the circuits are, uh, wires are connected this came out and if you can see that bearing this, that uh, this one is a little bit out so <coughs> the next bad thing gonna happen that the collar which was holding the bearing get loose and the whole bearing could get out and can do the severe damage to that coil and other lines so that's fortunate I found that issue in the maintenance <coughs> okay, so the next is we have to remove that pulley and I already loosened that uh, <coughs> screw Allen screw here which was holding the pulley and we need to clean that uh, black stuff so that the pulley can easily come out and we have this big boy here <coughs> to remove the pulley okay so we have to do a little bit of drilling here not a drilling act just a spot so that our bullet uh, puller shaft can sit on. Oh, that's backward. Okay, my turn is a little bit bigger. Yeah, our puller is set, and we just have to uh, rotate this, the main shaft of the puller, and the pulley will come out. I can do it with my two hand and holding mobile in the same time. Mm. So 
Hopefully it's coming out. I have tried. Oh, no. <clears throat> okay, so I can do it with my single hand. Okay, so our pulley is out. And the next thing was that collar came out easily. And the bearing is loose. We can, I think, okay, we can take it easily hopefully because the bearing is usually loose on the shaft and once we type this collar and then the bearing hold that shaft okay yeah hopefully it will come out easily oh, it's out of the Okay, I think I need my two hands. Okay, so <clears throat> the both bearings are out. That was the front one, and this one was for the back side, like other other side. And and this is the new new bearing here. New new bearing with a different style. They do not need that kind of collar to hold that bearing with the shaft. And so. We just need to place the bearing on the shaft and tighten the set screw. Okay. Both bearings are in, pulley is in, aligned. The belt tension is okay. And the rotation is smooth. So Let's test it. Not a good day for that kind of service. So I already put a panel to protect the electrical. Okay, so the unit is running fine now and everything is back on the panel and everything the weather is getting worse here please subscribe my channel so that i can keep uploading more troubleshooting videos thanks for watching